All right, I got two peakers tonight. These two coyotes at separate occasions peaked up over top the hill. The wind is really, wind's real high tonight, and we got a storm rolling in. I got a thunderstorm rolling in about 4 a.m., but moved into the area. Two o'clock, 2.15, I pulled in and headed out to this field. The wind was blowing strong in my face, so what I did is I left the collar back behind me a little bit, 30, 40 yards, and I moved up to a mound, and I started to call a little bit, opened up with, I could take hot to trot house, nothing. Amy interrogation how, no response. Went into, I could take foreplay a little bit and I caught a coyote moving from the right to the left and it was within range. I could have take, taken a shot. I had no idea where the cows were yet on this property. So what I did, the, the coyote went off to the left. I made a little bit of a move. I left the call where it was. I made a little bit of a move when I could and I came up over top the hill I could still see the coyote, but I could tell the cows are behind it. And now I know where the cows are and I can strategize where to set up. I'm glad I didn't take the shot. I'd never take that shot over top the ridge unless I know that the cows are not down there. I, I actually looped back around, back behind my call and I went over to the right a little bit more and I kept calling. I kept switching between I could take foreplay, mating ritual, a little bit of Tony Tebby stuck on you. And eventually that coyote would, would pop its head up over, peeking. Still didn't want to take that shot up over the ridge, and it came down to my right, tried to backdoor me, it wanted to get back behind me, downwind, and I was able to take it, drop it over there in the right as it tried to come around the backside. Went down, recovered that one, and now I made, made another loop to, the cows were now to my right, and I'm looking to where I, I could shoot everything in front of me, and I go into something a little bit different. I want to start switching some things up here, trying some different howls here. So what I did is I went into Lonesome Coyote and then Lonely Male. And Lonesome Coyote I played, no response. Lonely Male, I gotta listen to it again because I think there was a I think there was a quick response out there, but I'm not I'm not positive. I gotta listen to the call again. And all of a sudden I see one peeking up over top of the hill. Now this time the difference is I know where the cows are. I know that I can shoot straight ahead of me down into the woods, waited till that coyote stopped, looked at me, and bam, dropped that second one. The female, right over top of the hill, dropped her down. I couldn't even see her whenever she fell, but dropped two of them, peeking up over top. I don't know if it's because of the wind. We got we got some high winds, thunderstorm rolling in, and I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for liking, watching, subscribing. We got another double. I mean, they're really responding now. They didn't howl much tonight, but they're coming in because of this mating season. Another pair down. We'll be back out tomorrow night.